It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Giants and the Silver and Black. And it comes your way next. So even with all the buildings along the Las Vegas Strip and all the action here, this is one of the city's biggest attractions. Allegiant Stadium opened back in 2020. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, it's year four of this wonderful building now, and it's going to host the Super Bowl come February. Fans of the Silver and Black certainly hoping their guys will be a part of it. But this is a franchise that hasn't won a playoff game since the 2002 season. But they should be firmly focused on getting back to the playoffs. They have the team that can do that. Defensively, they get after the quarterback. Great pass rush. And now they have a new leader, a quarterback, and they expect to put some points on the board. Meanwhile, for the Giants, what a turnaround last season in year one of the Brian Dable era, Charles. Yes, they finished behind the Eagles and Cowboys, but they did win nine games and one more for good measure at Minnesota in the wild card round. Talk about establishing a new base, a new culture, and getting into the playoffs while doing it. So tough to beat this Giants team in the fourth quarter. They expect that to continue. And off we go from Las Vegas. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. But the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be. Someone who could threaten the defense throwing it and especially as a runner. Now a two-time Pro Bowler coming off a big year, Saquon Barkley. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and two. Throwing Jones. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And give him a gain of 37. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now Jones. Once again, he finds Slayton. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. It's a pickup of six. This brings up second and four at the Raiders' 32-yard line. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. But when you go from second to four to third and three, they just tell you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Jones now from the gun on third down. That is caught. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. 
You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Second and ten. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Now, now, hang on here because Saquon Barkley is in some discomfort, so we're going to have a pause here for an injury. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Looking to throw. Jones. Touchdown, Giants! Darius Slayton, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Giants are on the board first here in Vegas. Partner, are they going to cover him? Well, that's four catches in the touchdown grab on that opening drive. Well, what we're seeing so far, I believe is their understanding that they want to go to him and often, but also they know they've got to move him around a little bit, get him into some different spots to continue to find open space to throw him the football. Otherwise, I just run two or three guys at him. They're doing a nice job of finding his way open, scheming him, as they like to say. Gano the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And bringing them out is the pocket passer from Purdue, rookie Aiden O'Connell. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. First down throw, O'Connell. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. Now the NFL's leading rusher a season ago, Josh Jacobs. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Off the play fake, O'Connell. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there in a Raider first. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. 
Now it's O'Connell. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But you just knew that these rushers were eager to do that today. Put him on the ground. Their plan? Introduce themselves individually to this rookie quarterback. They set a load a big way there with a loss of double-digit yards on that sack. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. O'Connell working from the gun. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Okereke. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. First down, here's Breida. Touchdown, Giants! Matt Breida, 31 yards. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Extra point try, good by Gano, and it's now 14 to nothing. Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. They got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. And he stopped immediately there. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Play action. Now Connell. That's caught by Myers. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline. But here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side too. And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be full of big plays. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. 
I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end, any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was. Because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. Second down, Jacobs once more. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. That good for 19 at a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. On first and 10, it's O'Connell. The pass taken in by Mayer. And down inside the 15, he goes. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. First down marker at the five. It's second and goal. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders have got it back to within a score. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make our score 14-7. a return from just beyond the goal line and he'll be brought down shy of the 20 so the decision to bring it out of the end zone not a good one the Giants offense now they get ready to head back on the field well partner you know coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown sometimes that's not really true but last drive that was the case one play to get into the end zone and now they'll try to duplicate that success here and it's rare for those moments to happen incredible when they do and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Jones' throw pulled in by Robinson here. Only able to gain a couple there. And that will bring up second down. It's second and eight at the 20-yard line. A run between the tackles with Breda. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Here's third and three. Back to throw. Jones. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Finally, his defense makes a stand. They've given up touchdowns on their first two drives, but here they said, we've got to put a stop to that. Good coverage there to force a punting situation and a fourth down. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. DeAndre Carter back deep. six-yard punt and the Raiders will take over now first and ten Las Vegas's offense back out there ready to go and that last
last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. O'Connell looking to throw on first. Over the middle, he's got Mayer. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. From the 46, here's second down and a yard. Myers in motion right. Uh, he's going to get it on the jet sweep. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And yeah, good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Defensively, they were in the 3-4. That O-line just dominated the D-line there. Let's go with a verbal telestrator here because that D-line has a nose over the center and it has the two defensive ends over the offensive tackles. That means the guards don't have anyone over the top of them. That creates a natural bubble inside where they sprint upfield take on the inside linebackers. If the back hits it fast enough, there should be space to run. Ah, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On second down, O'Connell crossing route and he's got his man. It's Renfro. Pulling a gain of three on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And they go play action here with O'Connell. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Raiders seven. Second quarter from Vegas, the home standing Raiders with a football here. As they've got it with a fourth down coming up. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. New York ready to go again offensively. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now a play fake here on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Throwing again, Jones. He'll dump this down to Matt Breida. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now Jones to throw on third down. Looking for Shepard deep. Oh, wow! complete and all the way in touchdown New York Sterling Shepard 
78 yards. And the Giants go up by two touchdowns. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Gano the extra point, and it's now 21-7. to seven. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. O'Connell on first and ten. And that's complete to Adams. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 29, here's second down and two. Now O'Connell. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who? What, what defense you're in? That was totally a blown coverage. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. This is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Jacoby Myers. 26 yards, and the Raiders are back within a score. Well, so it goes for a rookie quarterback. He had the INT earlier in this first half, but he bounces back with a touchdown pass. And you have to like the mental acumen, the toughness, the fortitude of him, because oftentimes for a rookie, you throw an interception early, you're taken right out of the game, or mentally, you check out a little bit. Give him a lot of credit for bouncing back. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 
touchdown ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. After the sack on first down, Jones, and that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This one incomplete, probably should have been picked. A little nonchalant with the throw to the safety valve, but it's fourth down. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit, coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. Are you serious? And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think Automatic about the differences down. between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and ten. And Jones is going to put it in the hands of Barkley on the option. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. This a second and seven from the 37. Looking to throw. Jones. A quick pass here. He's got Shepard. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them. And they run that quick cut on the slant. And oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Running again with Barkley on second down. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Back to throw. Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he will have a Giants first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. 
Jones on first down. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as they'll go instead with Barkley. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The rookie Tyree Wilson, a first-round pick, there to bring him down. Now a second and ten. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. That's going to be caught. And he's going to be taken down. But there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold or did they rough the quarterback? So a critical mistake roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They give it off here to the tight end. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Daniel Bellinger. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Giants had six to their lead. Now that touchdown won't allow you to totally relax, but you can breathe a little easier now. Just increased their lead. Gano for the extra point. He's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. touchdown here to kick it away DeAndre Carter returning it and they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27 out is their quarterback with his offense to take over once more he had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive and they'll begin again here on first and ten O'Connell. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. Makes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. He throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. And O'Connell now to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. It's a big play there for Vegas. 46 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field, 
pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Off the play fake, O'Connell. He gets it left side to Johnson. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. On second down, Jacobs. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Here's O'Connell. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Jacoby Myers with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders have cut it back within a score. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen <laughs> with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track beat so far. Fun to watch. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. Seven now at 28-21. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. And New York set to take the field. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Steps away to his left. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice gain to bring up a new set of downs. Throwing Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Jones. It's Barkley once again bringing in the catch. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, He's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. 
The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Looking to throw, Jones. Able to locate his man Slayton on an out route. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Barkley going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. So second and goal, and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. down and goal Jones and he's got it touchdown Giants Darius Slayton as the first half is winding down and the Giants will extend their lead here just before halftime and that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two score cushion heading towards halftime now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Gano now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. And he's going to lose yardage, not that it matters, as the final seconds tick away. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. And Charles, they trail here, though not really the fault of this offense. No, they certainly did their part in the first half. But when you're in a shootout like this, you definitely want your defense to play better, but you know that's out of your control. All you can do, keep putting points on the scoreboard and keep giving your defense opportunities to make stops. On the ground, Jacobs will get the third quarter started. Oh, look at the juke. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he gets it up past the 35. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's O'Connell. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed in the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. O'Connell to throw on second down. Down the sideline he goes. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. 25 yards that time. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Jacobs. Trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Jacobs again. And he is in. Touchdown. Josh Jacobs with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders have got it back to within a score. Ah, oh, what a luxury it is to be able to call a bowling ball like Josh Jacobs down near the goal line. 5'10", 220 pounds, and he's not afraid to get in there and get the tough yards. He finishes off this drive with a touchdown run. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. happening on the return is he'll get this to about the 23. 
Darius Slayton and the rest of this offense about to begin their next drive. He's been his typical solid and reliable self, hasn't he, Charles? When you have that go-to receiver that you can count on in the situation where you absolutely have to have him, there's nothing better for anybody who's throwing the football. But the best part is the payoff. Two touchdowns already. That's the bottom line when you throw the ball to a guy. Absolutely. Not over 100 yards right now, but he does have the two touchdown catches. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And a short pickup to about the 25. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. From the 25, here's a second and eight. Again, it's Barkley. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Third down and six. Operating from the gun. Jones, work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. First down carry for Barkley. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> second down, here's Barkley again. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. Now a third and six. Back to throw. Jones. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Gets past one man. Zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one 28 yards on the ground. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Second down and a yard. They'll go to Barkley again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Third and two. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Giants are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. 
Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. They'll try and run for it with Barkley, and he is in. Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley taking it in from two yards out and the Giants are able to widen their advantage well he'd been the workhorse on this drive and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job so they go back to him again and he delivers with a touchdown run Gano for the extra point and the lead is up to 14 a pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Time again to see Josh Jacobs and this Vegas offense operate. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more but I think even more so is offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those <laughs> are some massive men. Play action. Now Connell. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the old line and recorded the sack. Well, this certainly feels like complimentary football to me, partner, because the momentum from the team's touchdown drive looks like it's made its way over to the defense. They're working together in tandem now. Offense gets in the end zone. Defense with a big sack on the first play of the following drive. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. The throw over the middle taken in. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Third and long, O'Connell now. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. And that's not gonna get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be giant football first and 10. The offense takes the field and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. You see the numbers, all those carries. If you get that many carries in the drive, you better <laughs> finish it with a touchdown. And, and he did. Yeah, and, and deservedly so, right? Because we've seen times like the Carolina Panthers, sometimes Jonathan Stewart to carry the ball all the way down. And then Cam, he's such a great goal line runner, he'll carry it in. But in this case, though, that didn't happen. The fellow lugging the load, he's the one who got to reap the reward. Yeah, there was no touchdown vulture here. A first down run from Barkley, pretty well defended. Give him three yards on the play. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Running again with Barkley on second down. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Back-to-back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on 
this play coming up. Here's third and six. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? Yeah, they should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not cause, easy. Because when they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Barkley inside handoff. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second down and eight. Off play action. Jones. He's got this complete to Robinson. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. And Waller taking it in over the middle. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. Looking to throw. Jones toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The Giants on third down. They've been tough to stop. Eight for ten so far. This time it's third and three. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Darius Slayton from four yards out. And the Giants have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Hunter Renfro is the man he was looking for. That'll bring up second down.
Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. Five yards, now it's third and five. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Back to throw, O'Connell. And that is incomplete. I guess at this point, Charles, heck, why not take some shots? I would agree with that totally because a big play can't hurt at all. Heck, you might get a pass interference call out of it. Somehow the ball might get tipped up and you come down with it. Might not do too much for the result of the game, but it could add to your stats. They'll go for it. O'Connell. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Giants are going to take over in great field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. Marcus Peters up to make the tackle. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there. And I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory. And, and as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't. Because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it. Because once everyone's emotions come down, Hard to start him up again, so I think he may want to keep him cranking high right here. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 112 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Now second and nine. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Raiders' offense now, they trot back out. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go-around. 
sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Looking for Michael Mayer on the play. And now it's second down. From the shotgun, O'Connell. Very quick throw, he's got Myers. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. Now O'Connell. He's going to air one out. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. That is caught, and he is going to have a Raiders first down, and they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 49-yard line to throw here. O'Connell, and this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. O'Connell back to the air on second down. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. O'Connell looking to throw yet again. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. That close on third down, I think everybody probably expecting a run. Instead, they go to the air on third and short yardage. I realize this is a passing league, and they're liable to throw the ball on any down and distance. But that short, I do question the call. Run the football and pick it up. They go with Jacobs. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And the Giants are going to get the football back. So he needed the short yard as Charles. He elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go. So you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 40. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here's second and seven. A handoff, Barkley running left. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? 
On third down, Barkley. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. First and ten, it's O'Connell. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send him back to the drawing board. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Here's O'Connell. His throw incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And this offense on third down today, they've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and ten. And O'Connell now to throw. That one taken in by Adams. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big play there on the catch and run. 37 yards. To get back in this ball game, big plays are going to be necessary. And here's one right on cue. Coming up with three scores here in the fourth is not going to be an easy task. But that's good work there to bite off a chunk of yards. Sticking to the air with O'Connell here. And that, oh, incomplete. Daylight in front if he could have held on, but he didn't. So instead, it's second down. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Here's O'Connell again on second and 10. The open man here, Renfro. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Raiders first down, and he'll have it by plenty as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He stopped to get it done, as you noted, and they did. And once again, O'Connell back to throw. That's complete right around the eight. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. Throwing O'Connell. This is caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Brings up third and one. Okay. 
Here now, third and a yard. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs taking it in from two yards out. And the Raiders are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well. His teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. You know, sometimes the guy on the defensive side of the ball, he just has a good feeling or a good read, and he unleashed his defense on that one. Boy, they stopped him in a big way. Yeah, I hate to be cliche, but sometimes we overanalyze. They just have more want. Looked like they had more <laughs> want right there. More want and more people to the ball. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be covered up by the Giants. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Give to Barkley out of the gun. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Bilal Nichols there on the stop. Big boys down there in the trenches and a nice play to stop him cold. Nothing there. Yeah, when you talk about big boys, you're talking about those defensive tackles, those nose tackles. They're not just big, they're immense. And what a <laughs> big time play there. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Here's Jones throwing on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty. And the Raider D, they get the football back. So we were looking at each other up here in the booth when they went for that, saying, oh, wow, talk about trying to add insult to injury. Some teams are just like that. You know, some philosophies, some coaches are like, look, when I got a chance to put some more points on the board, I don't care what the situation, I'm going to do it. And they're also the same coaches as a general rule that if someone does it to them, you won't hear a peep of protest out of them. That's just who they are. Throwing on first down, O'Connell. And his throw is going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Here's second and 10. That's 
O'Connell working from the gun. And his throw is incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So fourth and 15, but the offense is staying out there to go for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside the 25. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. O'Connell looking to throw on first. Here's back-to-back -back catches for Devontae Adams. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, He's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. Second and ten. Now it's O'Connell. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. To the air again with O'Connell. And this is going to be incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. They'll go for it. O'Connell. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and the Giants are going to get the football back. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. They begin with a run by Barkley. And he stopped immediately there. Robert Spillane, ex of the Steelers, is there on the stop. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not a there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, was it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. So it's a win here for the Giants, and it's thanks in large part to the play of their quarterback, and that's Daniel Jones. Yeah, there's no question who the star of this game was. What a performance throwing the football. Over 300 yards, four touchdown passes. That's quarterbacking at an elite level. 